Duval Nation. I know this isn't what we wanted this after this week. Two losses, Kansas City Chiefs. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff issues that happened during this game. Uh, I'm here to talk about it. You know who it is. It's your boy Zach. You find me on Twitter at blind underscore side underscore 73. Um, it's on the Toys and Tiles Network. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can see all the cool content we're coming out with. But, all right, so let's get into the game. Um, I'm going to give you a little recap, and then at the end, I'm going to talk about week three against the Houston Texans. Um, this offense is not what we thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know if it's the press Taylor factors fully, if it's the offensive line being terrible, which is an issue, but is that the only issue? Um, is it this super aggressiveness stuff that should have got cleaned up with our new kicker that was excused last year that Doug – Pearson didn't trust Riley Patterson to kick these field goals, but McManus has the leg to kick it. So I don't know what's going on. Um, we got lucky against the Colts in week one with some of our scores and everything. But against this Kansas City team, with our with our defense holding them 17 points, we think our offense should at least score a touchdown. Um, especially at the one-yard line when you have a 6-6 quarterback or you draft a running back to be your power back and you try to roll out. Um I personally feel like our play calling is really bad. I think Doug just needs to take it back. I know, and he won't do it. We know, um, you know, unfortunately, Doug's a, as most head coaches are, they're kind of a stubborn breed. Um, I don't think this press carrot Paler experiments working. I mean, usually you have like, well, at least we still can run the ball good, or at least we can do this. At least we can do that. None of it's been good. Um, a lot of it's more Ridley being, Kevin Ridley being an elite receiver, or Kirk or Trevor being able to. I remember everybody. This offensive line is not good. Um, I really thought it was going to be fine after last year. Um, Anton Harrison's not the greatest. He's not the biggest issue. The biggest issue is our internally. Smoothie King, Ben Barch, I don't think he's fully right yet. Um, I don't think Luke Fortner is really right. Um, but Brand Sheriff's definitely not, um, which his is maybe an age factor too. It may be too, maybe too far gone. It may be time for him to move on. But, uh, We just had to do, um, but again, we shouldn't have done that. Um, I have a little recap I'm going to go into. So with Trevor's, his receiving or his uh, completion percentage was now 50%. That's not good. Um, some of that was the drops. Calvin Ridley had some weird drops. Um, Zay Jones had a few plays. We just barely couldn't get his second feet, foot in bounds. So that set us back. It's hurt a lot. A lot of this though was the offensive line. This is a bad offensive line. Um, I don't know if what's the best way to fix it. If we need to have Ingram or Brent Strange be helping on the edges every play, which is not ideal. But Trevor can't be getting like that. A lot of it's up the gut, so I know that's going to help a hurt. There's not really a great way to fix that protection scheme wise, um, unless we just keep it back in every play. But even some of the backs can't handle these we guys. The teams are seeing it now. I mean, this week two, usually say like you four is usually when everyone has tape on each other. But that's two weeks we've seen our internal offensive line is not getting it done. Um, I was on, I've been saying all over Twitter and everything, or X, sorry, um, that we need to go get Walt, Dalton Reisner to help with that. And the Vikings just picked, signed him. So I don't know what we can do to help the, our internal offensive line, but this is costing us games. Um, that and our play call, I think so. Two things factors that are hurting us the most. Um, there's no reason why Travis CGN should only have 12 carries. There's no reason that with our offensive line who can't pass block right now, Travis should be dropping out 40 times. It shouldn't happen. Um, I am not a fan of this press Taylor experiment. Um, I think it's it's done. Um, I don't think it's I don't know what Doug's thinking. Um, I know they're like all, saying they're alternating, and during the game you can tell they're alternating. But I feel like that's not even a good idea, just because it's going to mess with somebody's flow. I think Doug Pierce is just going to have to call plays. Um, I know Press Taylor is like his protege, for lack of a better word, but it's not getting it done. Um, it gets week one against the Colts. I think we just kind of help surprise some people. But even then, there's some plays that Trevor's roll having to roll out way more trying to find somebody who's open and our receiver course too good to be no one can be open um i know 
but we needed to we need to in a close game like this, you need to run the football, just keep it out of my home's hands. And like I understand going into it, thinking it's gonna be a shootout with Trevor. And Mahomes, but as the game got going on, you got to change the game plan. You got to just run the football. Um, the fourth and five play at the 50 when you're up on Kansas City or giving them a short field, uh, pin them deep. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh, that's cause no, um, that's not a g- great play call. Or if you're gonna kick it like that, you got to at least kick over the field goal or something. You we saw McManus for a reason, and it's almost like Doug forgot he has Brandon McManus, not Riley Pass anymore. Um, I don't know what they were thinking on that one yard line play with the rollout with Trevor trying to get him out, run everybody. It's straight up the gut. Trevor six six. He can go over the top. He did it against it in the playoff game last year. You ran up fourth or one quarterback sneak on third and two earlier. The play calls it just not making sense. Um again, I don't know who's calling those plays. If that's Doug, he can just cut back on his aggressiveness and start trying to be cute with some of these plays and just run it. Um I'm not saying we need to do the running like the Toby Gerhardt play, remember, with four yard, four plays from the one yard, I couldn't get it. Quarterback sneak. He's a giant quarterback. Trevor, he's done it before. He's 6'6". He should be able to just reach over the line and get it. But I don't know. Um, I will say um, the, on the defense, though, I'm not going to say all negative today. That defense is amazing. Our defense is a lot better than we thought it was. I remember last year, a lot of us were calling for Mike Caldwell's job. He's showing that maybe right. Maybe Press is going to do that, but at least there was moments last year with Mike Caldwell, like, oh, okay, we have a good defense. Press here, there's been nothing. I don't, I'm saying no, saying anything good. Um, I don't know if some of this is just the offensive lines is bad, like I said, but we got to step up. Um, Ingr- Evan Ingram, he's looking good. Um, he's not getting the place. He, he was getting before because obviously you have Calvin Ridley and Kirk and Zay Jones first, but he's still good for a couple plays every game, which I, which is great to hear. Um, he's showing up for his contract uh, that he just earned. That's yeah, good to see. Um, Chase on he got a sack on Mahomes and Mahomes is a hard quarterback to sack. So respect to Cal uh, Chase on. I know a lot of us here. With the Jags family, don't really want him to play that much. I know I've been outspoken that I want um, Mobin Ingram to get signed, but he got sacked, so good for him. Um, he's tied with Trent Ron Walker for second, of course, behind Josh Allen with his three. Um, hopefully, Josh Allen can get sacked this week against the Texans, but we'll see how that. Um, and then another thing I want to talk about is our safety play. Um, Rashad Jenkins did have that one play where he's beating a lot of people were like get him off the field. But again, Dewey as our backup safety is good as a third safety. When he starts, it's not usually the greatest thing. Um, Daniel Thomas isn't it's kind of we know what he is. He's more of a team especially players. And Antonio Johnson's out, so we don't know what he's looking like yet. Um with that hamstring. When he comes back, I'm down for seeing him, rotating him and Jenkins to see what happens. Because we all know Andre Cisco is going to be starting, and Andre Cisco is proving it. Um, but Cisco, I mean, Jenkins isn't a bad safety. I'd probably break him in the top 20 safeties. Um, I just don't feel like like he gets the tackles usually, but he doesn't really make as many plays as Cisco does. I mean, he's just going two games, has two turnovers, he's forced. The fumble against Colts, he had the interception where he baited Mahomes a little bit on that. So, and baiting Patrick Mahomes, some of the trick plays he, that Mahomes does is that's a big thing for me personally. Um, we saw what he was in college at Syracuse, so I feel like he can be a good safety. I feel like he's going to be end up being by the year top ten safety in the league. Um, still needs little help when it just open field but again he's not that he's more of a free safety so we shouldn't really have to worry about those plays most of the time um but yeah that's most of my recap um make sure to check out our patreon and everything at toastacals.com um our web which is our website our patreon that's patreon.com to source titles to see some really cool ideas that we have on there different tiers that you pay different more and more cool stuff you can get you can get merch you can get Insight on the fantasy game league now that we're in our fantasy seasons. 
Um, so make sure to check all that out on um, website. And then, of course, check out the CFB Nation for some college football news. Um, well, I'm Coach Prime, he's showing everybody. So we, we talk about that on that. Oh, so make sure to check that out on YouTube. And that's the CFB Nation, not CFB Nation. Um, but, yeah, check all those out. Support, help us, support the channel so we can put out some of these cool, cool contests for us. So without further ado, I'm going to get into my little – Week three preview. Um, it's another. It's a divisional game, so that's a big deal. It's CJ Stroud. It's his third start. It, he um, put up a bunch of yardage against the Colts as their comeback. Um, I think our defense is a lot better than the Colts, so I don't think he's going to be able to do what he did to them to us. But we'll see. Um, with Nico Collins and Tank Dell, who if they look good, but they're not play, haven't fought a corner like um, Tyson Campbell. Um, that's an elite corner right there. That's I personally put him in the top five, six quarterback or corners in the league right now. And Darius Williams right up there with him. I really hope Darius Williams could get some interceptions though. That would make him great. He you know, he gets his hands on him. He they just ends up tipping him up. Um, I don't know if he needs to do hand drills with Evan Ingram because remember Evan Ingram before he came to Jacksonville had terrible hands and now he's catching everything. So maybe that's a good idea. But come on, come on, Darius. We I want to pick. Um, I want to see your first interception as a Jaguar. Um, not just knock him down, want him back, give the offense some more chances. Um, like I hinted at before, uh, Cisco is going to be a beast in this game. I feel like he's going to bait C.J. Stroud again. Just like he, I mean, if you bait Mahomes, who's the best quarterback in the league, you can bait the rookie. Um, they're all good. I mean, Damian, so I feel like that should be good. Our defensive line is great at stopping the run um, till the end of the Kansas City game, of course, when they were just tired. They've been on the field the whole time. This is um, – so with the force turnovers, offense goes three and out or – doesn't get any points other than a field goal, even though you're in great position. Um, There's a whole bunch of problems So in that game. So I feel like they just got tired, but I feel like we should be, they should be regenerated and show maybe they'll get a score this week. Um, Damian Pierce, I don't think he'll do that as much as like he did last year in the first game. I feel like all of our run stopping has gotten a lot better. Um, especially, I mean, Trayvon Walker, he's a great, He's still not a great pass rusher, but his run stopping is great. Um, it does suck that he'd be drafting number one overall and he's not getting as much sack numbers. But we all knew this was going to be a project. Um, I personally think like later in the season when Devon Helmets is back, I feel like we might he might do a little bit more. Um, I just feel like he's kind of it's kind of limiting right now. With we don't want to run him out on the D line right now as like a backup, but I think he'll do a lot better when you put him at like the five tech sneak, but we'll see. Um, I really hope our defense is going to step up and show that, but we should be fine. Even with Larry Tunzel and Shaq May isn't being elite. Um, offensive lineman. I just feel like ours is, our, we're better. Our D line and we're deeper. So eventually there's going to get so many different looks. Uh, maybe we get you see our doula some play in there. That's like a speed guy behind all the power guys we have. But again, we'll see how that works. Um, then I'm gonna talk about all right. So we had we've had two weeks of two different receivers being the leading receiver. Um, week one is Calvin Ridley, um, having a great game and Kirk kind of being quiet. This week it was Kirk having a big game, really kind of being a little quiet. Um, I feel like this is going to be something that's going to alternate all the way throughout the rest of the season. Um, just I feel like it's going to be a matchup base. And then we have big play Zay out there too. And our biggest thing with our offense, I feel like we need to stop though, is those Agnew plays. We, all of us in Jacksonville knows them. They don't work. Um, I'm not saying don't play Agnew, but we need to stop. Oh, Agnew's in the game. Let's do a little jet sweep. Oh, Agnew's in the game. Our receiver screen. That teams know they're but if he's in the game, that's where they're we're going for him. When you have more as decoys, um, I feel like if he if everyone's healthy and he's in the game, defense is just good. I have it's blowing up every play. Um, 
I feel like our out routes are okay and our eggs are fine, but to get help with his speed, like in the zone, red zone, but anything else, get out of the playbook. Um, it doesn't work. Um, I'm going to be honest, it, it's never worked. Um, maybe it works in practice, and that's why we keep running it, but I've never seen it work in a game for a big gain. It was, if it is, it's like a five yard gain, which is great, but we can do that with, tra- we could, with um, Travis Etienne or Tank basically running up the middle. Um, it's not, I don't like it. Um, but so hopefully we get another Ridley game going off. Um, with the, especially with the Texans safety being out, like it's a lot play opening. We need to start throwing it deep. I know we can't block it great. Um, but Ridley's fast enough. I feel like we can, Trevor, you can, or the whole line can hold just long enough for him to bomb it out. Um, I feel like we need some of those plays. We need some of the Kirk and space plays, like down the middle versus cover two, which I feel like works. That we don't run it enough. Um, we need to run the ball more. Um, again, I get it. We have all these weapons and these shiny toys, but we need to. What's good of numbers if we're not winning games? Um, I know Doug said he doesn't like running the ball, or what's his saying was, um, you throw to win, you or you throw to score, and you run to win. Run the ball. Um, we have two backs who could, we have three backs who were good enough backs to like run. Darren Johnson runs hard. Trevor Travis Etienne's fast. Take bit Izzy's getting power hit runs. Show them what we got. We have the run. Um, not sure if he doesn't trust the offensive line, but we got to do it. We got to show that this isn't that this offense is cutting it. But I. To, I'm going to end on a positive note. Um, so our first two, I got two big things. I'm going to talk about who's our MVP right now. I personally put our MVP at Calvin Ridley right now. Um, he's kind of showing what he can be. Um, he does some drops issues with Kansas City. But their that opening game is still great. I mean, Kirk's still showing. He's still pushing Kirk. But I feel like he's probably our MVP. Is still Ridley. Kirk's on is probably be the 1B. But I feel like without that, I mean, our offense should just be the same as last year. It's we our offense should be better than it is. I love it. I believe it's play calling. Um, so I guess the opposite of our MVP, like our LVP least valuable part would be our play calling. I'm just gonna be real with you. I don't like it. Like I've, I mean, I've said it throughout this video. It needs to be fixed. Hopefully, I feel like it's gonna get fixed this week. Um, so my little. Score prediction, and then we'll give you a little prediction of what I think is going to happen. I mean, I, up two for two. I said turnovers on Mahomes. We got that. Uh, I said sacks and turnovers with Rich said in week one. We got those. Um, make sure to check the, the videos out. It's out there. Um, so this week I'm going to say an, we're going to do another sack and a fun, and a turnover for our defense. Um, you should get more than one, but I'm just going to go for. I'm just going to say two sacks. Um, I feel like he may run into a couple C.S. Stroud, but sacks are sacks. Um, and then also I'm going to go with some offense plays, say we get back on track, but I still think we're going to overcompensate a little bit. So I feel like ETN is going to get like 20, 25 carries. Tank's going to get like 10 carries. Um, Trevor should only throw like 20 passes Um, for like a – 200 yards and a touchdown. But I feel like we're going to go, since our passing game's going so bad, we're going to try to go underdo it and try to force the run. Um, I feel like our team, our defense is good enough. We can kind of mess with that a little bit, but we need to fix it. So, and then my response, my score prediction is going to be a little lower than week one, say 24, 14, Duval, you know, uh, so it's a little closer than it should be, but I feel like we have the capabilities to show what we should be. Um, Trevor maybe got some design runs with him. I don't like it, but we just we got to figure out ways to make this offense work. If our offense lines is bad, fine. We're going to try quick quick plays and so they don't worry about it. Um, and Trevor, I'm going to end this with this. Trevor, remember, you could take the check downs. Um, we do have a tendency to kind of go for the big play every play, take the check down. 
If it's not there, check down, boom, keep going. Um, keep the drive moving. Don't always take for the big shot because that ends up that ends up you taking a big shot. Uh, especially with this offense line. Maybe when Cam Robinson gets back, it gets better. I don't think it will be because I feel like we're just gonna move Walter Little inside, even though I feel like Cam should be inside. Um, it's not gonna fix it. Um, I feel like it just we need to revamp all into all the internal offensive linemen. Um, I think Sheriff's getting too old. Um, Fortner's not that great, and Smoothie King's not healthy yet. But again, like I said, that's my score though. Those are my predictions. Um 24-14. We got this Duval. All right, it's on to the next game. Just remember it's Duval. What's up, Title Tribe? We appreciate you watching the show. If you want to catch up on all of our college football content, make sure you subscribe to the CFB Nation by clicking their link below. Make sure you subscribe to the Toilets Titles Podcast Network by clicking our link below. And make sure to catch our other content by watching these videos to the side of me.